Trini. Hi Jemima, how are you? Great, how are you? Very well. We're doing a quick closet conversions today because yes. I'm just traveling a bit, but I thought I'd begin to look at things that I might want to bring to the wardrobe in the autumn. I'm going to start with some things I've had altered that I didn't show you necessarily before, and I'm going to think of a few different ways to wear them now I've altered them. So this is the piece, which is, it was this. This was a dress. Yes, we I remember had 20 this. years ago. And I'm going to show you now a picture of me wearing it a premiere with Susanna. Love the hair. <laughs> the hair. I mean, Susanna's hair was everything, and my hair was, I mean, I don't know what I was on. But the thing about the dress is it wasn't the best shape for me to begin with because it had a drop waistband. So when I wore it originally, it was lo long and low, and it made my body look long, made me look droopy in the tit, and just wasn't a good shape. So I thought, let me make it two pieces. And have right. you just cut that? Well, I didn't just cut it because you know what I'm like with scissors. So we cut the top exactly. And then as Susanna added here a little bit of that fabric, Clever, which was brilliant. Yeah. And then here she cut the top. So it stopped being drop waistband when I put it on and she put a little lining here. So I'm going to put it on and then we're going to think of different ways I can style each piece. So I've gone from one dress I hardly ever wear, hopefully, to two bits that I can do lots of different ways. Wearing it and dressing down the skirt to an extent. I mean, I am wearing still quite a drama top, but I'm wearing a chunky boot, a bit of a pop sock, and I'm thinking I could even like, you know, just make it a little bit more casual. Now, some of you might think I won't wear a sequin skirt during the day, but I'll consider it. Okay, but would I sort of, you know, do that with it? Mm. And just try and really make, make it's like you're mi you want to minimalize the skirt's impact as a piece of evening wear. So I could do that. And I wouldn't yeah. feel bad about that. It was actually sent yeah, this, this by from? somebody. It's from Style Cut, cult, but I kind of love it. And it's I love really that great. detail because your eye is drawn up away from the skirt a bit more. Exactly, it is, isn't it? It's not just like what I'm going to put on now. Mm. But a plain black coat. Just dress things down like that. Yes. There. Yeah. And you might, some of you think that's an evening wear moment. I would wear that during the day. When we have all these precious pieces in our wardrobe, Jemima, it's such a pity when we wear them so rarely and it doesn't make our cosplay wear work out well. So taking a sequin skirt from a nighttime moment to a kind of, I can do this during the day, uh, gives it more wearability, makes it more fun. Yeah, and it makes you feel like it's a special day, even if it's not. Exactly. Now, what if I wanted to wear it today? Ooh. Because you know, nothing like the present <laughs> moment. So what I'll probably do is I'll fling off the winter boot, thinking on my quest here of wearing different shoes. I bought these in New York from a shop called TB. And what I liked about them is that they are sort of winter summer, so I could probably wear them in the winter with tights, but I can wear them in the summer. And I just, you know, tuck that in, be a bit casual. I could have a cuff or not. I think I'd minimize the jewelry in a way. And do that. And just a plain white t-shirt. And a plain white t-shirt, and then I'll do a crossbody bag. And if I'll even try and make it more daytimey by mixing some textures. I don't know if that would work, but mm. you know, just chilled. I could do black, but I kind of like that I'm not weighing it down with sequin and black, which represents evening as a look. It doesn't exactly go that. I, mean, I might do a bit of leopard print. You know, it is getting a tiny bit wintry but it gives some uh, fabric to it, like that. Yeah, I love yeah, that. I might do that, actually. And I, I would wear that. I'd wear that walking out of the house right now. Bag I don't use often. Like I think there's a slight diamond shape on the side. Yeah, there's yeah. a diamond diamond. That's really nice. That's great. Yeah, I have nothing to say. I like this. It's, it's good, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? And it feels a little upgrade. That's the thing, when we go into, when September is looming, we think, well, who do we want to be in September? And we're Chloe, um, Chloe and I are going to do that a bit on Friday twinning, but also I'm looking at that in my wardrobe and thinking, who do I want to be? Mm. And I wouldn't do a jacket with this. I think this is a look where it is just about the t-shirt. Yeah. Um, and I wouldn't do any jewellery or necklaces because I think you've got to dress it down, dress it yeah. down. Yeah. So different from the ball dress it used to be. It is so different. And I'm going to now try working with the top. So this is it as a piece together. Yes. And because the proportion's slightly different now, it does work. I was thinking, like I said to Asana, I'd quite like to make it a halter neck, but if I make it a halter neck, it makes it too high. Yeah. So I can't do that. But I still feel the fit is better here. It could be tighter, but then I think it works nice that it's a little bit loose. 
It does, and it still can be similar to how you used to wear it. Yeah. Because I always think, would you regret cutting it? Yeah, that's true. We can always regret the scissors. <laughs> now, what's interesting, when you have colours which are... This is actually a very washed out bronze. Mm. It's not silver or gold. So you have to then be aware of where you're gonna lean. And oddly, I might lean more towards that bronziness. So I wouldn't do my classic Tiffany cuff, but I might do like that. So it's just metalized. Mm. You know, it's more that this is a metalized thing. Where's that cuff from? These are from, I got in a market in, in Italy. And then these are Bottega from years ago. Like that, like I would do that, like that. Mm. Trini, uh, would you do bronzy makeup with this look? I think I'd do more magician and stuff like that. So I would start with a bit of magician because I think that slight, in a way, I'd call the shade pewter um, of the dress. So I'm going to just put that on quite thickly to give you an idea. And then the deeper that I would make my eye, the more I might change my lip and add in something like some Eugenie and go pinkier because this is a bit warm, like that. And then I'd even add the Eugenie, the coolness. It's quite a bluey pink, this Lip Lux. I'll put that on my cheeks. And then I might take a little bit of Victory, which is in a double pot here with Empress, and just put that in the corner of my eye. So I take one of our blending brushes and I just go back and forth putting it quite high up the color like that and there you have it so it's just got that slight bronziness um in the eye I've got the neutralness of the lip with that okay. that's the makeup there and it just it gives a nod to the pewterishness of the dress with a little softer lip and not so warm it's such a case for wearing those colors in the summer as well yeah i it often is. go to more neutral but that is i know sometimes gorgeous. we can amp it up and underneath i've got a base of vision which is that soft pinky shade okay let's try the top with other things i'm going to start off with really i'm going to see if this works more of a sort of summer evening moment so i'm putting on a bit of a heel um, I'm thinking would I put a bit of gold on, but I sort of just went for the texture of this clergy. I'm seeing if this fits with the trousers, because you know what I like about length. <laughs> oh, it does. Uh, like that, so. Where are the trousers from, Trudy? These are literally, what about eight-year-old, nine, eight or 10-year-old Joseph. More of a sort of slouchy trouser. There, and I'm thinking, will I add in necklaces here? So it is evening look, or would I do bracelets? So I'm just going to look at the options. So we could go back to that, and instead of that, would I maybe put on some lattice work, just to give you another way of looking at how we can build up bangles. These I also got from a little market in Italy, and I, I got off a boat and I found them. Um, and I put the bigger one and then the smaller one. I quite like that way, so yeah. I could do that. And they're such a perfect colour tone. They're a great colour with it. They just like nod to it. And then I might do an earring because we are going out tonight. But again, I'm thinking, how do I match it? So it's not that sort of, it's quite difficult looking at that shape. So I don't know if these are going to work. We're going to have a look. These are very, very old Yumiu. But I think I just like the way that they have a few of those colours. And I think because there's such a gap between my, you know, my cleavage is long and my neck yeah. is long, I really need something to fill it. Yeah. And that's what I felt before with the dress is how it just made me very long in a way that I didn't love. I need to broaden my hair. Let's so get I'm going to cool do girl. some like cool girl. One is um, a texture spray and then there's a dry shampoo, but I love the dry shampoo as a texture spray. Yeah. I generally put my head upside down. <laughs> And I have a little whoosh inside, as one does. And a little scrunch around of the hair. Not quite going, I hope, Jemima, to the star we saw at the beginning, because that was very <laughs> manufactured. This has got to be more, I just got out of bed. Yeah. And come and sleep with me. <laughs> no, I love where that's heading now. Wide hair, yes. big earring, floppy trouser, fitted little skimpy camisole yes. top. I am a camisole top, it couldn't get more classic. No, but I love how you've made it more kind of like warrior, gladiator style. It seems... <laughs> yeah, I'm a war I love that, warrior gladiator. So that's its nighttime chilled with a wider trouser look. Really All cool. Right. Should we start layering it? Let's layer. Another look now, which is just to have 
a little bit more of a plain, flat-shoed evening look. Mm -hmm. You'll notice I have a round toe slung back on. Where are they from? These are from me and Emma. I don't know whether oh. I should keep them or not, so I need your advice, girls, on what you think. Well, I personally love a sling back, but what do you think, Mel? I, just I prefer a point, toe. personally. I know, you see that. I think round toes are really good when you have boobs. It's something weird. When you're angular, mm. I think a point is better. And I think that, I, I don't know, that's my thought. But for me, they just don't work. Now you've said that, I'm like, yes, I understand. Do you? Yeah. Because I do feel that. Yeah. So I think it's time to say goodbye to those. They were on my list of new shoes to be showing you, but I actually bought them for a funeral um, I went to and I then ended up not wearing them. So they're going back, Ronnie. Yeah. Would we do something a bit mad here? I'm just gonna go to something totally different. This is another shoe I haven't worn for ages. Mm -hmm. And I want to wear it, but it might be too Jemima or Hubble Duck. <laughs> Where are these ones from? These are Penelope Chivers. This is cool, I like mm. this. It's quite nice. And I think that with these shoes, they don't work for me when I have a skirt on because they come very high up. Um, the higher up a shoe comes here, the more it can just make your ankle look squarer. Yeah. Because you're giving no breathing room to the elongation of your foot. The only way it works for me is if there's a hem that comes right to this narrow point that everyone has yes. of their ankle. And that's probably why it works. Yeah, and I like how this top works with the different shaped trouser as well. It's sort of, I mean, it's not me, is it? And with this, I might then think, would I do necklaces and not bracelets? Because I like that bit there, but I want something here. Okay. So let's look at what yeah, we what can do. Yeah, what would you go for? Like, sort of the, I sort of oh, quite like that. Oh, yeah. This is from Chloe. She got it for me a few years ago. It's really clever, and it's a kind of thing where you, it grasps, look. Is it a snake? I oh, know, it's so adorable. It's good. We always use this, like, at some point, we don't do, we? We do, don't we? It's like my Dries one, but in gold. So I could go high, like that. High is better. High is better. Oh. High is better. But that gives a focus. Do you see, I was looking bereft of anything there. <laughs> but putting that little accessory on has then just, you know, brought it together a bit. It's very interesting, yeah. isn't it? You're like, oh, what is that? I'm happy with that. Yeah. And then I'm going out in the evening and I want to... You know, let's, I mean, we all would love a casual shoe, but if I wanted to smarten it up, would I go topping and tailing in gold? Let's have a look and you tell me what you think, ladies. But this is what can be fun if you give yourself the time to do it, is think, how can I make an outfit work mm -hmm. for me? And it's about trying a few different things and thinking, does this work? Why? And then also understanding why does something work or why doesn't something work? So you don't keep going back to it and expecting a different response. And so I'm just going to go back to the weight and heaviness of this clergy, which has the texture that I like. Like that. This shoe works so well yeah. with this top. I think it also because of the texture, but also because it's got some black down there, it's, it's still giving elongation to my leg, whereas yes. the gold stopped my leg at the ankle. So you sort of knew that that was where my leg ended, the rest was about a shoe. Yes. And where are the trousers and jacket? The trousers are from Zara about two years ago. The jacket is very, like, probably about seven or eight year old Stella McCartney. Um, and this is Chloe and Clergery. So we're now looking at layering and I've got a Zara white t-shirt. What I like about this is it's given a breadth to my shoulders again. I had started by tucking it in, all right. And what happened then, I mean, I could do that, but it just looks too much like I've got a camisole on over. Yeah, you my, can see the break yeah, of there's everything. something which doesn't work. So we took it out, which I'd never normally do because I always say don't just let you know put something over yeah. your tummy but because this ends at my waist it's still giving me a positioning of my waist so it works actually so molly had said to you when i had it half and half house mm. and now we've done it like this i think yeah it just looks better and that could be an all-in-one top you wouldn't really know unless it you could looked be closely. couldn't it because we've seen so many applique tops mm. on top of something and it gives that it's like it's sort of become a piece of jewelry for it and then I could put on top of it you know a black coat for the daytime but I could do that and then it's that little glimmer and imagine if this was a black cashmere jumper in the winter but you just have that little glimmer of something so if you're somebody who wears a lot of black it's how can I bring some italics into black to lift black from its place of absorbing all the light 
Yes. You know, you want to bring some reflection back into the outfit. Yeah, and it's not draining your face at all. No, it's not actually. And I really like that little tip yeah. there. And then I'm thinking, what would I, I'm feeling I want something here. So I could go back to just those friends by themselves. I must start wearing these again, actually. Mm -hmm. I love these. I just, I love a double bracelet, but that works because there's a, it's not as shiny. Like these are too much. Do you see the contrast? Because that's really like bronze future mm -hmm. gold. Um, mm. And those work better. And now I'm thinking bag wise, what would I do? Because let's always have every element covered for you guys. So I could just go to very simple Chanel. I haven't done for ages, but I'm going to see if the chain is too golden for the outfit or if it just adds a little a little nod to a little bit more of metallic. I love that. Yeah, I like that little bit of metallic. It's slightly different in tone, but it has the black lace through it, so I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. really cool. Molly would go back to this. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could do both, Trini. I could do both, yeah. But I'm beginning to think, I've got some things here which I can think about for winter. Yeah. Um, which are adding something extra to my clothes without me thinking I'm buying a ton of new outfits. The trousers are from Cos oh. and the t shirt Zara, and this is very old Celine. Thank you. And that's, and it's about taking those things that are those precious things at night. Okay. Plain black dress, this yeah. is Solace, and I put my shoulder pad in like that, and I've always found this very plain black, so I'm thinking, would I put this on top and do a layering moment? Because it has got two fabrics, hasn't it? It's got a satin to it as well, okay. yeah. What do I think? I think it needs to kind of come up a, a bit, bit higher. Like that, yeah. But I do like the fact that it's added, but I think that it needs to be fitted. So if I did this, and I could do this, and it definitely makes me feel, let me just put on also a shoe i'm gonna this is a new one as well these are very cool Trini. and this is the classic shoe boot sorry that a company in america does called tv but i've been wanting these for so many years and i want to give my waist back because this dress gives me a good way so i just do each side like that yes and then i would do the safety pin underneath here like this and because it's sequin I can just not worry about the safety pin showing. That's one side and then the other side. So it would just give that nipped inness which the dress deserves. Yes. Yeah, if you once you can see your waist, yeah. it looks really I love, I love it from the back. It's good from the back. It's so nice from the back. Because it's also, really you hitting know the right place. Interesting about this dress in the back. Without this, I had a very long body in this dress. Mm -hmm. And it's given me again this positioning of a waist without my wearing a belt. I sort of like the idea of that. So, really happy with that. People would be like, where's your dress from? I know, it's made it a far more interesting dress. So safety pins all the way. Always carry them with you, they can do many things. We'll do a last look, shall we? Yes. Okay, this is another one I'm literally just trying, because I'm just thinking, could we do it over a different fabric? I think it's very shapeless. I think the chiffon and the, and the sequins together, they're fighting. They're just aging, actually. So we're gonna end up slightly back where we started. See if this works. I mean, I think if I cut this T-shirt off in the middle of the night, as you can see, <laughs> profoundly unevenly. That's it, so you. <laughs> it might not be that it totally works, but it is something that you can see where I'm heading here is, that this can become this piece of jewelry you could wear over anything and it is that thing of experimentation and you know i've got actually a a jumper from zimmerman in leopard which it would look much better over than the chiffon because this is a soft pretty texture so you want to put it over a harder more modern texture and i think yeah. that's the juxtaposition of how it can work yeah and if that was aging this is very modern yeah this White. feels i mean like i like i nearly wear this, this to the office now you know I won't because this is really a three in the morning cut, but I nearly could. So that gives you an idea of all these different things we can try with our clothes. Sometimes it's just good to dial in Jemima to one thing and think, mm -hmm. okay, how can I change this thing in my wardrobe? So look and see, do you have any evening dresses that you don't wear much, but you could just make them a skirt and top? And if you do, do it and send us the pictures, we'd love to see, because we like to see what you get inspired yes. to do.
And um, until next time, thank you, Jemima. Thanks, Molly. Bye. Bye. See you next week. See you next week.